Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, Elite Boy, Case 31, Dome Stay. Let's unlock under the dome, number one, and we gotta go back there now that we have a chance. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Please, Sweater Katrina, I really hope that it's the last I see of you now that your investigation is wrapped up. Oh, Miss Pierre, we have a few loose ends to tie up, just to make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Well then, you'd better get a move on so you can leave soon. Someone really doesn't want to see us around here. But Rupert does. I just got word that he wants to meet us in the rec room. This will be a good time to talk, he said. No one should be there. I hope that he found out something about the meteorite. We need to know what Tree Wife is doing with that thing. They have hidden that meteorite under the stove and lied to the public by calling it a satellite. I doubt that they are up to any good. So far, nobody inside the dome has given any, any indication of what they are working on, and it's getting frustrating. Hey Katarina, I'm here and ready to start shaking Dreamwise's trees to see what falls out. After you and Joe's talk to Rufford, we should go snoop around the labs. I'm sure we'll find something. Okay. Alright, let's go to Rufford first. Katrina, we haven't got long to talk before people come in here to take a break. I have been looking into the meeting right and trying to gain access to it. The situation is delicate. Please, do not interfere for now. Why, haven't you got the access? You're a scientist here. Access is extremely limited, even for scientists. For now, they have been reviewing the work of the others and running some equations. What is clear is that the meteorite has some very unusual properties that Dreamwalk is trying to take advantage of somehow. And this brings me to the radiation. But Rupert, the radiation is harmless. We know Dreamwalk just trumped up his importance to keep people away. He may not be dangerous, but the radiation is coming from the meteorite. I need you to find a way to study the radiation's properties while I am working on getting access to the meteorite. I have heard that there is a radiation battery device on the platform. Perhaps you can borrow a sample from it for Amir. It's worth a shot. Easy to figure out what in the heck is going on here. Let's get to the platform, Katrina. Before you go investigate, Katrina, G Light gave me more to a picker into starting bonus. I do not want their ill gotten gains. Let the Grease Room PD take the body. You mean you take it for myself? Because that's, that's like the only thing I'm doing here. Alright. Let's go investigate the lab first. I don't even know where to start looking around here, Katrina. I don't understand what any of this equipment is or does. If you think that pile of broken glass could help us out, I guess we'll have to piece it together to see what it is. Alright. Now let's go to the platform. Radiation measurement thing is probably referring to the Geiger counter. Where is it? 
Oh, there it is. Cut the this device is a radiation sticker on it. Could it be that the rubber set measures radiation? Normally I wouldn't touch anything mark radioactive with a 10 foot pole. Good thing we know it's not the normal sort of radiation. Well yeah. <laughs> There's a lock compartment on the device too. Good point, Katarina. That's probably where the samples are kept. Think you could get it open? Okay. Alright, let's restore this. Alright, Rosetta and another scientist. Ah, the dome opening. Look at the there's a photo of Rosetta Pierre etched into that glass cube you re reconstructed. Well, no wonder that it's one of those fancy glass cube photos. It's for the opening day of the dome. I recognize Miss Pierre. But who is that guy standing next to her? If he's been here since day one, the man in that photo must know a lot about life on the dome. Let's see if Kathy can identify him. Okay. Eighteen hours and now let's unlock this radiation counter. Samples. Well, Katria, these look like samples attached to this radiation device thing, so they're probably what we need. We should send these samples to Amir and see what he can make of them. Okay. Who's on this glass picture with Rosetta? Hello again, Katrina. I have some info for you on the man in the glass cube photo next to Miss Pierre. His name is Kai Gruber. He's a well-known Austrian scientist, but I don't think he'll be of much help. He's not working in the dome anymore. Was he fired? Or did he quit? Neither. Gruber's been locked up in the Brother Psychiatric Hospital for the last few months. Whoa. Why? Whoa. Locked up at Brobden? Why? What happened? No idea, the Doe's resident therapist, Dr. Katherine Kelly, signed Gruber's transfer to Bromden. She might know more. I hope Dr. Kelly will be willing to talk about the patient, Katrina. It's worth a shot. Alright. Alright, now the radiation samples. So, Amir, what is the meteorite emitting? What did you manage to figure out for those radiation samples? Radiation samples is simplifying it a lot. These are lead samples that have sore radiation because lead is... Oh come on, don't need to come here. What did you find? Well, I discovered that the radiation was weird. It's similar to lambda radiation, except the particles were... Well, never mind those details. My point is, we encountered a much weaker version of this type of radiation in those mushrooms from the forest near the dome. This explains a lot now that I know that the source of the radiation is extraterrestrial. We don't have this on Earth, so we have no metric to judge it or its properties. The really weird thing was that, while testing, I had a sample next to one of my potted plants. This plant had severe root rot. I was about to throw it out. But after the plant spent a long time near the samples, I noticed that it looked much greener and healthier. So you're saying that the radiation has healing properties? 
It's not quite that simple. I could recreate my accidental success with the plant, so I don't really know how or why that worked. That said, the radiation might, under some circumstances, have a beneficial effect. I'm going to see the meteorite itself because that's the radiation source. Until we study it, we can't know for sure. Well, Robert is working on getting us access to the meteor, right? Maybe we can question Dr. Vega about the radiation now that we know what to ask. Okay. So that's when we find out that he has healing properties, which we later find out that it's going to be used for, you know what. Hello, detectives. What are you doing here? Miss Pierre told me that the police had left the dome. Dr. Kelly, we have a few questions about a former dome scientist, Kai Gruber. We understand he's in a psychiatric facility now. Oh, Gruber? Sad story. He's why I was hired as resident therapist here. Miss Pierre wanted to ensure that no one experienced such psychiatric difficulties again. After all, life under the dome can be challenging. Some people might find it claustrophobic or confining. But since I arrived, everything has been just fine. I see. And Gruber, what sort of psychiatric difficulties did he experience? Now, now, you know that I cannot break doctor-patient privilege. Of course. But I imagine that you can try to see Gruber at the facility and ask him any questions you might have. I would advise you to take a lava lamp from the recreation room, however. Before he was sent to Brogdon, he was the only thing that kept him calm. He would sit on a pile of pillows there and just watch the lamp for hours. Sometimes he'd even talk to it. He called it bending lava. I suppose we should go, go to there and look for that lamp. Lava lamp, wow. But I wonder, Katrina, does the rec room have snacks? Because I'm starving. Well, here we go, he has burgers. Alright, let's go to Dr. Vega again. Dr. Vega, we want to ask you some questions about the radiation so just happening here at the dome. I don't see how that's a police matter. Scientific research is not a crime. Well, sometimes the two are more linked than you'd think. And we now know the radiation might have healing properties, so... I'm reporting you to Rosetta Pierre for your impertinent questions! I'm not telling you anything about radiation or otherwise. We have strict instructions here about what information we share. And unless you want to detain me for a crime, you can't make me talk. Well, I guess at least better Katia will have to get to the bottom of this without your help. Dreamlight hasn't heard the last of us. Alright, now let's go to the recreation room to look for the lava lamp. I don't see a lava lamp anywhere, Katarina. But Dr. Kelly did mention a pile of pillows, you're right. Maybe you could dig through those straw pillows and see if the lamp is under them. Okay. Let's look through the pillows. Found a lava lamp with that pile of pillows, Katarina. Nice catch. 
Now we can take this time to see Kai Gruber at the Broaden Psychiatric Hospital. Hopefully we'll call Gruber enough that he'll be able to tell us what happened in his time under the dome. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Expecting something crazy to happen. Kai Gruber, we have some questions to ask you. Oh, Benny Lava, you brought my friend to see me. Dear Benny Lava, it feels like years since last we spoke. Yes, uh, we did bring your friend. So you last saw Benny Lava on the dome? So you remember what life was like there? That awful glass castle. I lived a nightmare, a nightmare that haunts me. Benny was my only friend. We appreciate that walking there could be stressful at times. Do you think he was stressed at baby like this? No! It was that awful woman! That Rose who poisons everything! Woman? Rose? Do you mean Rosetta Pierre? Yes! But I cannot say it say more. You're here working for her, and she bugged Benny Lava. Now she will find me and then then No Oh my god. Alright, alright, thanks for uh, talking to us, Dr. Gruber. Man. What did you do to him, Rosetta? That poor man. He's clearly terrified of Rosetta Pierre. We know she could be a taskmaster, but he thinks she can track him down and hurt him or something? Good call, Katarina. We better discuss our findings with the others at the office before we go forward. Alright. Well, Katria, we have two extremely stressed scientists painting a strange picture of life under the dome. Ernesto Vega got livid and refused to say a word about the radiation or the meteorite. From what Amir said, we know the meteorite's radiation might have some beneficial properties, but in that case, what is Dream Life afraid of us finding out? Then there's a mysterious case of Kai Gruber, who went mad, was committed to Brown in hospital, and is now deathly afraid of Rosetta Pierre. So, Katria, one thing has become clear. We really need to confront Rosetta Pierre about all this. That's right. Don't you dare deny us. We know everything. Care to explain all this? Miss Pierre, earlier you tried to spin a tale about dangerous radiation from the meteorite inside the dome. But we found out the radiation might have beneficial effects, which you are being really quiet about. So you think you know more about it than we do, the people who've been studying it for over a year? We would know more if we could get our hands on the rest of the research, but you clearly trained your scientists to keep mum. We demand an explanation. Demand all you like. There's no crime here, so you don't have a warrant to touch any research, and I'm not about to place groundbreaking discoveries in police hands. We could get you on grounds of misleading the public. After all, you will lie to everyone about what you're doing here. That's cute. Try taking that to court. See how harassing a company that pays a ton of taxes to the city goes for you. In the meantime, leave us alone. Your investigation is done. Get out. Not so fast. What about Kai Gruber? Walking out of the door apparently drove him bad. The man is terrified of you. It was an embarrassing but very short chapter here. Some employees just can't handle the pressure, and I was as shocked as anyone that Gruber cracked. But I pay for his hospitalization from my own pocket. What else can I do? Look, whatever you're trying to pin on me, you won't succeed. I advise you and the Grizzly PD to keep your noses out of Dream Vice's perfectly legal operations from now on. Don't roll your eyes at me, Lisbeth Katrina. Here, take a little souvenir from life under the dome. Now I got a plane to catch, so bah bye. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Ah, that Rosetta Pierre sure knows how to slip out of tough situations. But if she thinks that we are going to stop looking into Dream Life and that meteorite, she'd better think again. True enough, but she's right that obtaining a warrant for their research looks difficult. 
I'll keep pushing, but for now we'll need to keep trying to obtain information covertly. Well, luckily we got Rapport under there. Hope she's blending in okay among all these stressed out scientists. Speaking of Rapport, wasn't he supposed to check in with us and give us a report on the meteorite? Oh, this must be him now. Rapport, what have you got for us? I found out something about the meteorite. It's... Oh no, someone's here. What in the... Rupert? Rupert? Katrina, we lost the connection. Rupert may be in danger, Katrina. We have to get back to the dome right away. Oh god. And that brings us to the next case, which I have already done in Elite mode. Alright, we're gonna stop here, we're gonna continue playing in another elite mode, keep suggesting guys, and if you are unsure about which elite mode have I done already, you can find the playlist in the description below. So, thank you for watch, Dr. Lee liked this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!